Hi, this is Fee from Diamond in the Rough. And just sort of do a little drill with me. I've actually been working a little bit on this one. Um, this is the Jetty. Oh, where's my picture? Of course, I don't have the picture out. Which is this one. I have done quite a bit already since I did the, um, well not the unboxing, but the showing of it. And this is it so far that I've completed. Okay. It's really cute. We've got the light pole and there's a bird on it. I'd say that's a seagull knowing being in Esperance. Bucket load of seagulls that are there. So I thought I'd do a little bit of a drill with me. I'm going to bring the camera down to zoom in a bit. Um, and just an update on both where I'm at with different things. One of the things I was doing, or I ha have started, is the paint by numbers. And oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, hang on, let's bring you down. How's that? Can't quite see the symbols, but if I have you too close, I'm going to end up tapping. Um, yeah, so where am I at? So at this point now, obviously, I've completed my Durban custom. So that one's done and dusted. I've just got that sitting on the floor under the bed because I need to find a frame for it. So a 60 by 100 frame. Uh, just trying to track one down. I've found a few, um, but in Australia, you know, to order a frame like that, it's not cheap. Paint by numbers, which is the last unboxing I did. There's my dog. Clink, 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 clink. Um, oh, isn't that an education? As as kids, did you ever struggle to paint within the lines? <laughs> I discovered with these painting with these brushes I'm struggling although I'm able to do it um, I did attempt to do a paint with me but the concentration that that took um, there was no talking I didn't talk at all I tried to talk but I ended up with sticking my tongue out and holding onto my tongue with my teeth while I was trying to get something right so yeah if you've got an unsteady hand um, paint by numbers is just pretty hard I mean my stand my hand is reasonably steady but um, yeah not it's still a struggle um, you don't use a light pad underneath it but I use my lamp over top of it and I was having to twist the picture around um, while I was painting so yeah but I will persevere um, by the time I've got the knack of it I might be able to do a paint with me but um, paint with me while I'm not talking is not very enjoyable I'd say might even have to do a time lapse of it um, see how we go with that uh, so yeah, on to doing the jetty for my mum, get that done, and um, I actually had to, well, <laughs> okay, how many people, oh, put your hands up, <laughs> tend to go, I'll do the housework later, I'll do the housework later, <laughs> well, I've been off work for five days, I'm actually on leave as of now, I'm on annual leave been off work for a week for five days and I haven't done my floors or my mats or anything like that so um, my house was looking really neglected so this morning I turned around and went right no diamond painting until after I've done the floors and the mats are in the wash so the mats are in the wash floors are done kitchen bench kitchen stove all that all cleaned um, so I can sit down and reward myself with some diamond painting. That being said, I have still
still got a bucket load of stuff to do because we've take I've taken this weekend is the Australia Day long weekend so tomorrow is Australia Day um, but because it falls on a weekend public holiday is we get a public holiday on Monday um, public holidays don't affect me because I do shift work so I don't get them off so I've had to take knowing that it was a long weekend um, my partner and our mate our friends our mates um, like to go away on long weekends so I've taken five days off so 60 hours of annual leave so that I can go away for two nights camping uh, and I could turn around and only taken a few days off instead of the full block but after camping, so that's today's Friday, so we're going leaving tonight, and um, we'll be back Sunday afternoon, and so Friday, Saturday, Sunday are my normal day shifts, and then I've got Monday, Tuesday would be my night shift, but we come home Sunday afternoon, and I will have to clean all the camp gear, so all of our bedding will have to be washed, camp kit cleaned out, everything ready and set back in place for our next trip. So yeah, so that's it. We're camping this weekend. Um, the ute is all packed, park, packed up. I've got a few things left to do. Um, one is to pack up the angle frame so that I can then drop it into the fridge so we've got the, all of our cold stuff in the fridge um, and our meat I need to repackage our meat because I buy a heap of meat and then in bulk and then I just repackage it so I can set it up for different meals um, I've got eggs on the stove at the moment um, so I've boiled them for six minutes and they'll just I now that I've finished boiling I've turned the uh, turned the stove off and they'll just continue to cook in that hot water uh, and it should be nicely done by the time the water's cool. Okay, what else have I got to do? I've still got to pack up our clothes and I think that's it. Just pile up anything else that goes in the back of the, not in the back of the, but in the back of the cab. So inside the ute, I just need to pack that up and put it all in a pile in the garage. And um, so then when Nathan comes home from work, all he does is has a shower, gets dressed, and get in the car and we go. So this is, where we're going is Logebook Dam in Western Australia, which is, I suppose about three, three or four hour drive from where we are um, and the dam is we'll go out with boat friends friends take we've got a couple of friends with boats um, and so we'll get on their boats um, and get pro I think Nathan's gonna ski board I think it is so he'll get behind the boat on a board a oh, knee board that's what it is um, me I'm not that I haven't skied at all um, my partner knows how to ski so I will end up in the tube so we'll be applying bucket loads of sunscreen it's going to be nice weather we're only expecting around the 30 degree mark which is yeah it's not too hot not too cold um, in the sun it'll get warm but we'll be where we uh, camp up we'll be in a um, fairly shaded area Hopefully we get there before a lot of other people. So we go Friday night. So we'll arrive about 7 o'clock tonight, half past 7 tonight. Set up and Nathan will cook dinner because I don't cook when we camp. Um, he cooks when we camp and I do the dishes. It's a perfect system. <laughs> I don't enjoy cooking. Um, so yeah, he gets there and he'll cook and I'll do the dishes and then we'll chill out for the evening and then the next day our friends will arrive 
One group of friends only live about 40 minutes from where we're going. Um, and the other, other couple that are coming, um, they have commitments whereby they can't come until Saturday. So they're only going to be camping one night. I turned around and I said to them, we were going to do one night. Nathan wanted to do one night. And I turned around and said, no. Going one night's not worth it. I've taken five days annual leave to do this. Um, going one night camping is, is not long enough. It's not worth it. So yeah, we'll get two nights out, out in the bush. Out of the dam camping. Um, anyone that's interested, Logue Brook Dam, L-O-U-G-E Brook Dam is where we're going if you want to Google it. Um, yeah, it's not a bad area. I think it costs us about $11 a night. The rangers come around and they'll collect off you. So $11 a night to camp there. Um, no facilities, <laughs> but I mean, we take our own porta potty and we're all well set up. Shouldn't say porta potty, but you know, the big, not big, but the eco friendly toilets, that, chemical toilets that you get inside, I suppose, motorhomes and all of that. Winnebago. So, yeah, so that's the plan of attack for this weekend. Um, I don't know if anybody's noticed my nails. I've got my nails done yesterday and I had something special done to them. Uh, hang on, underneath here. What I did do is I had one of my rhinestones from one of the diamond paintings attached. So yeah, you can I just see the, see the rhinestone there? So I had that done on both, both of those fingers. Actually, you can see it there. So yeah, I got my nails done, finally. They were getting a bit yucky before. So dearly crafted, I hope you like these nails. I'm actually quite impressed with them. Oh, yeah. So, been um, watching the some of the Facebook pages, and I, I don't know which one, I can't recall. Um, in Australia, there's a I shouldn't say a bit of a heat wave. There, there is a heat wave going on in, in other parts of the country. And I chuckle because somebody put on that they, uh, Adelaide reached the hottest temperature they ever on record, um, 48 something. So this is obviously in Celsius. And I saw someone put a post on after that saying something about oh that's nothing we get such and such a temperature and you know that we get such and such a temperature where we are well fair call fair call I um I work with a mining company in up north you know we with that, the guys up there have been dealing with 51 degrees so um but that's where they're used to that temperature and Adelaide isn't so yeah um, thinking I need to put more wax on my pen. Struggling picking this up. <sighs> Tell you what, I've been running around madly this morning getting all the housework done. And it's finally good to just sit and do this. So how many of you actually do put off the housework and just keep going, oh no, I'll just get a little bit of diamond painting done and there goes a few hours. Because my other half has uh, noticed how much time I spend diamond painting now and it's like, you know, you got to do something else. <laughs> I'm all, I have four or five days off. What am I going to do? Go out and torment people and... Um, go shopping and spend money on stuff or am I going to stay home and spend money on diamond painting that is a lot cheaper than what I like to spend my money on but yeah um so yeah I did um my first live the other last week I think it was and it was actually quite fun 
I will say it was a bit nerve wracking when you lock, when you just started up, and it's like, oh, I don't know, you know, are, are people going to um, pop in and say hello? You know, do I? Am I going to have to wait for for people to join me? And um, because I'm in Australia, time zone is pretty different to um, the US and the UK. Sometimes it suit me, sometimes not times that suit the US, because I think that's where most of my viewers are. Definitely needing wax on my pen, aren't I? So yeah, um, yeah, it was quite enjoyable, quite enjoyable. Very surprised that you know that I had some people turn up. Um, but yeah, so that's just a little update on where we go. I'm going to do more lives. I don't know about the um, doing it, the, the paint by numbers. Um, it, it takes so much more concentration. Um, I've got half of the black done and I just wanted a bit of a break from the black so I did a couple of the red colours in the corner, top right corner. Okay, is there any more threes? Um, there's another one. So yeah, just... I think I'd be a lot quieter. No, oh, yeah, there's more threes down the bottom. Um, with... Paint with uh, paint by numbers I and mean, I know myself I was there and I'm like had I actually did film it film some of it and the amount of times that I wasn't talking was probably about 75% of the recording I wasn't talking and I know part of the fun of the drill with me is, is the actual conversation that happens and the updates that people give in their lives and where they what they're doing because that's what we want to hear we, we want to hear what it's like for other people in other parts of the world so yeah yeah there we go what else oh I ordered another diamond painting there's my phone here there's my phone I ordered a to, to do it. let's see if I can I'm um, just on my phone I'm going to see if I can find it my orders so I don't know how long it will take but I ordered something that I've seen other people um, do online with, with the rhinestones and I've been looking for a full rhinestone um, to do um, t -t -t which is uh, come on picture I'm just trying to get the picture so I've seen other people with it but this one here I've ordered that and that's full rhinestone so it's 92 percent off and i paid 22 dollars for it um i've seen it on other other sites where it's like um 80 90 dollars so uh just i suppose it's still not something that i don't know whether i'd hang it up in my house i might do um but it's more that i just want to do one with rhinestones um i did the lion with the rhinestones and um, there was no um, uh, how can I put it it was a, it, it was a nice piece came up nice um, but I wasn't sure on it so yeah uh, what else oh the custom, I won the custom from my diamond painting, mydiamondpainting.com. So I've had to send in for, to get a 
I've sent a picture in for them to do and I've had a response back saying that they that that's not the they can't do it in that size um, I'll show you and these are these are my personal pictures so be surprised so that one there that's my own personal picture um, which I wanted as a diamond painting and they couldn't do it as a won't fit so what I've done is I sent them another one and asked them if they can crop that so how cool would that be so that was in South Africa that was in the Kruger National Park and we were actually sitting in the shade of a tree photographing that and that leopard was um, about three meet less than three meters away from the vehicle and if he wanted to well actually no it was a she if she wanted to she could have made a jump off that tree and end up in our open four-wheel drive vehicle uh, so for anyone that is ever thinking of going and wants to see animals out live uh, you know living life as they would naturally not be behind fences oh my god go to south africa kruger national park was good i mean we loved kruger national park at the time because that was our first sight of animals and, um, and that. We went to Shushlui National Park, which was good. Um, but then we also went to a, what's that? That's my dryer just finishing. Sorry about the noise there in the background, if you can hear it. Um, and one of the other places we went to was the, uh, we went to a private game reserve um, which uh, was even better because being a private game reserve they actually did uh, look after the animals so in a nat natural park nature park they just it's all femme for themselves which is the real natural way to do things um, but in the private reserves they have most of the animals are roaming around freely with the exception of uh, their really big cats like their lions which they had the um, white lions and they were in an enclosure and they yes they had live feed roaming around in their, their massive enclosure but they were also fed so that they were um, they were really 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 healthy really healthy it was gorgeous to see them so yeah hopefully my second picture of the with the leopard with his let's see if i can actually zoom in hang on i'll see if i can zoom in on him so he's got his tongue out um hopefully i can get that one they crop that nicely to get that as a 40 by 50. Um, so yeah, obviously you guys are aware I prefer to do customs over anything else because they are so personal um, and you don't see something that you don't end up with something that so many people are working with. Um, I'd love like I've got other trips on my web page that I so want to get done as uh, diamond paintings or in the <clears throat> I think I showed the elephant a couple of elephant pictures went up for the um, paint by numbers um, that one is a still a hamaha I don't know because I'll see how I go with this painting um, so yeah so I'm gonna actually stop there I'm gonna get this one edited and uploaded and then go do a bit more while this one is um, uploading I'll go do some more housework be a good person <laughs> um, get everything packed make sure like I've got the dog bed I've got to make sure I've got the dog bed already in the back of the ute 
uh, inside the cab at the back of the ute um, because we're taking Bo which he loves it when we go camping um, mind the cat well I have a cat the ginger cat um, my son will come around and feed him uh, because we've got a, a doggy door uh, the cat will go in and out of the house as he pleases so yeah So yeah, I will uh, talk to you later and I'll upload this and um, possibly jump in and maybe even do a live later this afternoon and hopefully someone will be awake <laughs> to watch. Um, very hopefully. So yeah, thanks for watching and bye for now.